one noble truth. If there were just one thing that you committed yourself to, that embraced every other thing, that there, there weren't eight folds in the path, there weren't four noble truths, but there was one noble truth. Of course, this heart and a mother holding a child embodies that noble truth. I started by showing you the circle of the horizon, this circle, this circle, circles within circles, on into infinity. So what is the one noble truth? If these circles within circles embody like a pebble dropped in the water that ripples, a oneness and a connectedness, Perhaps the one noble truth is to live at the center. But what does that mean, to live at the center? It sounds like a simple statement. The center of what? I would say the center of the circle of who you are. Which is, in a, is truly the center of all things. Yes, it's your quiet presence, but it's, it's the place that we journey to. You could think of your soul's journey throughout millenniums, throughout a lifetime. It's the journey to the center of the labyrinth. What is it to live at the center? What would this one noble truth, what does that mean? If we could reduce it to that. The Hopis believe that when the last world was destroyed by a cataclysm, which at that time was a flood, it was actually the, the third time First it was the fire, and then it was ice, the glacial activity, and then a flood. And they came across the Pacific Ocean in these reed boats and landed in Central America, and they were given instructions by their earth god, Maasau, to carry out these migrations in the four directions. And they were to go all the way to where the land meets the sea, and then turn around and come back, and it actually created kind of a, a swastika, swirl. So they create this cross, and then ultimately they are to settle at the center, which is where they are now. There's actually three mesas, but there's the old Orabi, and which means place where the earth is solid. So the center is a foundation of solid even though it's not necessarily tangible, solid reality. It's the most solid thing that you can stand on. So the belief is that by, if they, when they live there and they practice their traditions which are forms of vibration, whether it's through dance, music, rattles, song, 
thought, behavior. These are all vibrations and the way in which they're done, the manner in which they're done, through a caretaking feeling for the whole, a kindness, a compassion, a gratitude for everything that comes. These vibrations keep the world in balance. And of course, they speak of being out of balance now. That they're not living at that center. So every our, our lives are these journeys of experience. Ultimately, each of us to arrive at that center, though some of us don't know it or consciously pursue it. But it's who we really are. Things happen in life that pull us out of that center. And then they create reactions in us that keep pulling us out of the center so that we can't live at the center. And the way back to the center is through a simple action, what I call the true action of self-love. It's really self-compassion. With you as the center of the circle and everything that moves in that circle, you at the center are love and compassion. You don't hate it, you don't reject it, you let it move, but you don't get involved in its beliefs because all those beliefs take you out of the center. Other than that single one belief in that noble truth, most of the other ones take you out of the center. So if the one noble truth is to live at the center, and the single most important action from that is self-love, which when you're at the center, self-love is love for the whole. For instance, if this was my rock and your rock and somebody else's rock, and they're in the circle, I treat them all the same. I treat them as myself. When I live at the center, I'm the whole world and I'm the caretaker of the whole world. And my behavior, my thoughts, everything that I do, if I live from the center, keeps the world in balance. It's the best thing I can do for the whole world. It's really, that center is really a state of being. It's an energy that compassion, peace, self-love, all of the things that you want emerge from. And they're all contained in one single thing. Gratitude. So the Hopis believe that all the other worlds were destroyed because of man's greed. Worrying, thinking, fearing for what you don't have, rather than being grateful for what you do have. Or really moving through the world in a state of gratefulness, of gratitude. Gratitude is open, just as compassion, peace, they're all open and connected, those circles within circles into infinity. Gratitude has, is gratitude for receiving something. And then the gratitude itself, the action, is a giving. So it's a completion of giving and receiving. It contains the opposites. So in a way, to live at the center is to live in a state of gratitude, which is naturally compassionate, peaceful, loving, starting with that center, which is where you're sitting, and then 
it just flows and ripples out into the world. And the medicine of one is really the path of living at the center. So to live at the center is the one noble truth. <laughs>